Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy and welcome to you all in my channel Chemistry and History of Molecule. This is a continuation lecture of Hunt's Decay Reaction. Today we will discuss about the iodo version of Hunt's Decay uh, Reaction that is Simonini Reaction. Okay, this is a similar version of Hunt's Reaction but only halogen is iodine. Okay, so this is the difference only with so I suggest you first please go through the Hunsdicker reaction where I have explained about background, mechanism, example and details. You have complete idea. After that if you look at this video, it will be very easy to understand. And secondly, I have explained mechanism here in details. I will not explain here in details. I will give a short course. So such that you can understand. But I suggest please go through the first video. After that come to this video. It will be better for you. Okay, let's start. So what is this reaction? Actually this reaction is a silver salt of carboxylic acid react with iodine that is a halogen and produces alkyl iodide. Okay, this alkyl iodide and carbon dioxide in presence another thing silver iodide. So that's why this reaction is considered as decarboxylative iodination because iodine, iodine is attached to the fan and why decarboxylation because this carbon dioxide is going outside. Okay, so how this reactor and one interesting fa factor is that ratio, ratio dependence of reagent, ratio of reagents. Why I am telling this? Because interesting is that if you take this uh, silver salt, means a silver salt and this iodine 1 is to 1, it will ultimately result a line. But interesting, if you take Two equivalent of silver salt and one equivalent of iodine, it will produce ester. I repeat, if you take two equivalent of this uh, silver salt of acid and one equivalent of this Ri, it will result in ester at this stage. So this is the difference of this two reaction. Okay. So let me give a fast uh, discussion about the mechanism. So what happened? So this reaction, these are the thermal condition. This silver uh, salt of carboxylic acid uh, react with this because this anion attacks iodine and it leaves and what it produces? It produces this acyl iodo derivative. Okay, so this and plus here silver iodide which is separated out from the reaction medium and these undergo homolytic cleavage to produce that iodo radical similar exactly similar like homocystical reaction for bromine and this is this acyl radical so after that it comes it gives means it's the fissure arrow remember one electron movement so in this way R dot is produced plus carbon dioxide so this is the carbon dioxide elimination stage so what happened you can see this R and I dot can uh, combine each other to form Ri or you can show another way the chain reaction is happening because this reacts further with this RCOOI. How? This put gives one electron, this one electron, and it takes. So ultimately, it produce uh, it produces this radical. What do I mean? It again produces RCOO dot, and here I and this O dot can again means this O dot can again bring and break, and it produces the R dot. So in this way, reaction will get as a chain reaction. So fine, this is produced Ri. Now, what is the problem? Pro if you take excess reagent, what happens? As we know that iodide is a good living group. Iodide is a good living group. So, alkyl iodide is a good electrophile delta positive. So, consequently, this attacks and another point. First of all, not only this, another importance is that this is the second point you can consider. First point is silver eliminates iodide. Silver eliminates iodide as silver iodide. Means this one. Okay. So after that this becomes charged and consequently these attacks. Because carboxylate is not that much a good living group like means for good nucleophile. But this silver salt is uh, activating it for this attack. And ultimately this ester forms. Okay. So if this is the way to prepare this carboxylic esters. So what is the conclusion of this discussion? Conclusion is first Ri is produced. If one equivalent iodine is used, then Ri is produced and whole iodine is consumed. After that, see one equivalent of ester is remaining. Means this is one equivalent, this is one equivalent reacting and producing ester and Ri. 
so this is a very good method for to prepare directly ester from carboxylic uh, acid silver salt or you can say actually the silver salt is obtained from the potassium salt so from carboxylic acid to directly ester in a different way okay so this is and one let's discuss about one example very uh, quickly this example is this is a you can say phenyl acetic acid silver salt reacting with iodine this phenyl acetic silver salt is two equivalent and iodine is one, so one equivalent so what is expected we will prepare ester so this is ester is prepared and solvent is used in this medium as ether okay so this is the end of this discussion in next video i shall discuss about the chloro version of wunsch beaker which is a kochi reaction so if you like my uh, teaching please give a like and uh, subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload because it will be helpful you don't need to come and come to my channel and search whether i have uploaded or not you will get the notification if you press the bell icon so let's uh, go to the next video about coaching so see you in my next video